top five Linux certificate which will make you a Linux expert. Linux is everywhere. If you wanna just become a PHP or a full stack web developer, indeed you should know Linux. You should be advanced in Linux or you should be a master engineer Linux. But you don't know how to get the training. But you don't know where to start. But 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 there are so many but 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 so stop doing but and uh, here I'm gonna reveal the top five Linux certification in this is the top five Linux certification let's move to the screen and subscribe to my channel it's me Jimmy a gig these are the five best Linux certification. Let's start with number five. Novell. You'll be thinking that Novell is already dead. Back in 90s, there was a war going on between Novell and Microsoft. They were Novell engineer or the Microsoft Certified System engineer known as MCSE in the Microsoft basically won the war and then no one is basically is using Novell server they are using Novell server in some kind of weird place but in the major or I mean in overall Novell server are dead you will be thinking that what the hell I'm doing on a Novell website I'm just here to show you a number of best Linux certification from Novell basically it's the SUS Linux some people call it SUS Linux some people call it SUC Linux it depends there's a three basically SUS certified Linux it is a distribution of Linux to become a basically certified Linux professional you need to hold a CLS certified Linux administrator to become a CLE you need to hold these two certification so let me show you CLA you can see SUS Linux, I mean I like SUS Linux, nothing bad about it, it's not my taste, I'm a CentOS fan, but it depends which distribution you like, if you really, I mean working on a SUS Linux server or a SUS Linux, what kind of weird server you're working, just go and get a SUS Linux certification, basically SUS Linux, sir, this one exam costs you 125 US dollar, basically it's really good basically i mean it's nothing so expensive compared to other you can go to the main website or the SUS. let me show you about it SUS linux enterprise 12 the advanced foundation for enterprise computing you agree or you disagree is up to you basically just go to the website i have included all the link in the description box below you can just see it number four is oracle basically i don't know what the ff is going with the oracle official website um, for last two days i'm trying to just i mean go to the oracle official certification web page whenever i try to go i couldn't find so i go to the oracle blog basically even here i try to click the official oracle certification link it still doesn't working oh it's working really awesome now let me show you let me refresh this one okay basically it is back for last two days before i was uh, trying to make notes for this video it was not working okay number four is oracle linux certification basically there is a oca oracle certified associate in linux 5 and 6 or ocp oracle certified linux profesh, uh, professional basically to become an OCA, you need to pay $245 per exam. It includes only one exam to become an OCP. You need to pay $295. Basically, if I, um, the $45 is for the beta testing before you can take the official OCP. You can see, this is the OCA route and this is the OCP route. You become a certified Linux associate in Linux 5 and 6. Or you can basically this is a, uh, uh, basically this is a Linux which does not focus much of the distribution. It focus on the Linux which is just used to build Oracle system. Basically, Oracle is one of the weird brand that everybody I mean HR people love Oracle. Even you have an Oracle weird certificate which does not hold any real value or skill set. But the HR people really stupid. They just go the stupid VA of art in some kind of weird thing and then just be, become in HR, HR department they just get high in HR department and then they progress to HR manager whatever the HR they are currently holding the position basically Linux from Oracle certification 
basically it will help you to get past the HR department HR really want to filter their resume they got from the candidate if they find a Linux Oracle certification if they found any of the any Oracle certification on the Linux they will easily filter you out and then they will just put you on the short hand list of candidate just go and get an Oracle Linux certification with this certification you can't go wrong so basically number fifth is Novell certification there's a three level you can get from Novell number fourth is the Oracle and the Oracle website now working for some weird reason for last two days it was not working so let's go to number third the number third is Red Hat I already told you I love I love I love I love sent OS basically sent OS is a open so basically is a free version of the enterprise Red Hat they use a similar command line they use similar basically they are the same operating system Red Hat is made for the enterprise which is really expensive and open basically the sent OS is basically for the freebie you can use sent OS operating system Linux OS on any server you want without paying any kind of fees basically Red Hat why Red Hat a lot of enterprise I mean enterprise company love to run Red Hat due to the Red Hat support Red Hat provide really very good support basically they really charge a lot of money for their licensing these are two Red Hat certification one is the Red Hat certified engineer to become a Red Hat certified engineer you need to call the Red Hat system administrator for this exam RHCSA it cost you 250 bucks only 250 US dollar and for the Red Hat certified engineer it cost you 400 bucks so the total will be 650 US it really pricey if you become a Red Hat certified engineer 650 bucks what a big deal you can easily earn 65,000 US dollar per annual per year with no problem at all so now let me just get some kind of points out for the uh, Red Hat certified engineer basically they say Red Hat certified engineer is capable of everything the Red Hat certified system administrator can do now let me read what the goodness the Red Hat certified engineer can do basically say configuring static route packet filtering network address translation setting kernel runtime parameter this is one of the best skill set if you really got you can just dive into the Linux you can build your career in Linux or you can just come up with a weird Linux distribution setting the parameter of Linux kernel is not easy it's really hard I just stay away from it it's really 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 just a Red Hat certified engineer can do just leave to them basically and then they say configuring internet small computer system interface iSCSI basically using uh, shell sc uh, scripting to automate system maintenance tasks basically Linux is one of the weird operating system that does not require that really do not need any kind of administrator that's why Linux uh, sys admin always I mean play you know play monopoly playing their PS Vita gaming on their smartphone basically they really just sit on their lazy head because they no work to do compare with the uh, with the Windows server the Windows server sys admin oh god oh god every time there is a problem basically every one minute something is going wrong sometimes there is a network connection problem sometimes the windows server is acting wonky oh no basically if you really wanna stable basically stable you really do not want to configure i mean every minute the server go with the linux and go with the right hat certified engineer if you wanna get into the enterprise you can't go wrong with the right hat number four is the linux foundation this is one of certificate one of the two certificate which is vendor neutral you can see this or are focused on one kind of or another Linux distribution basically Oracle is focused basically it seems is focused on a basically basically with the vendor neutral no they focus on the Linux which only support basically Oracle system and then the Red Hat of course is focused on Red Hat certified engineer or the sent OS which is a free version Linux foundation Linux foundation have two certificate sys admin and engineer to to become a sys admin or the certified engineer from Linux foundation you really do not need to book any kind of examiner testing center for this all I mean rest of the certificate you really need to go to the testing center and sit in a physical testing center to give the exam for the Linux foundation certified system administrator or the engineer 
you just need to pay 300 bucks per exam and then you need to give the exam online basically they will they will connect you to command like with me you can't see anything everything will be going live so just follow the instruction and then there will be some question there will be a real command you have to follow you need to do it go in more detail basically just go with the linux foundation even if you're thinking to get a novel oracle or the red hat i will still say go with the linux foundation because it's a vendor new to vendor new to me it does not focus one or another flavor it's basically focus on a multiple layer and then it's focused on the linux foundation so you will think how we can go that training right basically the certificate cost you 300 bucks okay not big deal and then you will think it two to the 500 dollar for the training from the linux foundation uh, let me show you the free training you can get from linux foundation you really do not need to pay anything just now let me show you go to google edx if you go to google edx just go to the edx main website and then just i mean search uh, here linux or i mean i can see introduction to linux basically this is an official course from the linux foundation for free you can say never learn linux want to refer take this free course or get verified certificate basically they are offering a free linux training material out there from the linux foundation nothing if you want to get a certificate from a linux this certificate is not this certificate basically this is will be a sys admin or an engineer this will be the certificate let me show you for 90 bucks i mean you can get this one certify basically a very first certify from the linux foundation through edx i will just say if you are really starting with linux whether you want to go with a vendor base with a distribution of your taste or just with a genuine linux i will just say get a linux foundation certificate or basically get a free training from the linux foundation by edx i will include the link in the description box below number one is one the favor of mine the favor of some of the real linux engineer out there and then the hr people come to a linux plan Comptia Linux Plus is one of the weird certificates which basically HR people love. HR people just if they found a Comptia Linux Plus on your resume, they will easily put you on the shorthand. Basically, they really love Comptia Linux Plus. Linux, Linux Plus have really good reputation. Basically, it have two exams. One exam will cost you 183 and then for two exams, it will cost you 336 US dollar basically they say you should hold a computer A plus which basically is a computer certified technician or professional computer network plus network technician basically I hold both of certificate you will be thinking right I want to become a Linux administrator I want to get a job as a Linux administrator or I'm just a web PHP web developer but my job require Linux yeah you really don't you really you don't need any a plus on network plus but if you have it will help you basically a plus is the hardware of the computer basically a computer technician support and network is a computer network basically network technician which will help to configure and then design or build small offices network so you can't go wrong with computer linux play this is fully vendor neutral certificate it does not focus any of any basically kind of linux distribution then the second thing linux basically you can see organizer way linux plus powered by lpi lpi have uh, basically another thing if you get a computer linux plus you will get another linux lpi or the linux professional institute certificate for free basically you can just go google lpi basically lpi have three level of certification let me show you go to linux certification basically if you get a community linux plus you will get one free lpi level one certification you can see there's three level lpi one basically is a junior level certification for linux administrator lpi2 linux professional and then the senior linux professional basically if you get a compia linux value you will think why i did not put lpi because lpi is one of the good certification out there but hr people really do not love they only love linux compia linux plus and then you can see basically compia linux plus is recommended by dell or the uh, boeing basically the aircraft manufacturer ibm google the us uh, department of De defense and major government contractor basically i already told you if you go with the compia linux plus you couldn't go wrong indeed it is it is one of the best of the best certificate out there for the linux
I will just say go with a CompTIA Linux Plus and then go with some kind of a distribution. If you want to work in an enterprise, go with a Red Hat certified enterprise. Oh, I mean, if there are hundreds of Linux certification. I just basically filter out the top five Linux certification. So basically, these are the five best Linux certification. If you want to become a Red Hat certified engineer, go with a Red Hat. If you want to just work on a PHP web server which basically most of the time use the sent OS operating system just go with a red certi red has certified engineer certification if you are newbie you are starting out go with the Linux foundation and the CompTIA Linux plus my personal choice is go with the CompTIA Linux plus and then get a free training from the EDX by Linux foundation it depends on you whatever you wanna do I reveal the top 5 Linux certification and just subscribe to my channel. It's me, Jimmy A. Geek.